I'm very, very cautious with what I'm about to say. Just simply because I think the situation is very, very sensitive. But I have seen some very strong rumors from credible people in the golf industry, some very good points all around the fact that Jay Monaghan's time at head of the PGA Tour could be very, very numbered. Rumors are saying that once this framework agreement has been signed, that he will be forced or asked or will step down. Now, hear me out. I've got a tweet that actually I know Phil Mickelson has responded to, and I think the tweet makes some very, very good points. There is some evidence with these tweets too. So with me, let's dive into this. As I say, it's very, very sensitive. But the questions that come to my mind right now, and I want you to have a think, and if you want to, pop it down below in the comments exactly what you think. Has Jay Monaghan lost the trust of PGA Tour members? the players, with the countless decisions to go back on his words. For one, the framework agreement. For two, this whole thing of going back on golfers are allowed to go and do live golf tour school, and now they're not. Has he lost the trust of fellow employees? And does he actually deserve to be there? If he was the CEO of a multinational company, would they have accepted the decisions that he had made up to now? These are the questions that are all put to you in this video. So let's dive into this tweet. Now, as I say, we're going to break this down. It is very lengthy because there is evidence with it. So this comes from Bob Golfball. Now, as I say, Phil Mickelson and evidence is in here that all sort of leans towards this could be the factor. Jay Monaghan is out as commissioner at the PGA Tour. Hate him or love him, Jay Monaghan has backed himself into a corner with no escape. According to sources at the highest level of golf, he's finished as PGA Tour commissioner as soon as the framework agreement is executed, or potentially not. Tiger said today he has confidence in Monaghan, but turned around and then talked about the players' frustrations with transparency and their involvement in tour decisions. That perfectly explains why Monaghan has gone. Now, this refers to the first point that I said. Has he lost the trust of the players? I honestly, and I think about this if, if he was sort of representing me, I would have lost the trust in him just purely because the decisions keep on changing. Let's go further into this. First, a leader can't survive if they're not trusted by its stakeholders in their organization. Jay Monaghan undermined their, their loss of trust with three critical groups that sealed his fate. Group one, players who went to live. Okay, so he breaks this down into three groups. Monaghan implemented a scorched earth campaign against the players who wanted to play live events. He cynically started a narrative that live players somehow were condoning the attacks on the world train centers and the death of Jamal Khashoggi. In a sleazy and crafty PR operation, he dragged 9-11 victims and their families into golf. Leading their families send a letter to live gold players expressing their outrage of participating in the new league. And the players were betraying the United States. In brackets here, never mind that the PIF invested everywhere and the US can stop it if they choose. He easily got the lazy golf media to go along with the storyline. The PGA Tour hired clout to trash lib players, most notably Phil Mickelson, in a vicious PR campaign. Now, so far, what do you think of what he said? Now, the evidence here is he's just repeating words that Jay Monaghan has used in his press conferences. Again, for me, underpinning why Jay Monaghan could be losing the trust of players and fellow colleagues within the industry, because... He has totally gone back on what he said. And the PR campaign now, which was rammed down our throat, looks very, very strange, doesn't it? The fact that now the PGA Tour are meant to be creating a new organization with the same people. Anyway, let's go further on to this. And at any point, let me know what you think of these points. This is what I've seen on Twitter, across social media. And like I say, this is coming from a tweet that I am reading. So furthermore, but secretly, in one of the vilest and most scumworthy ironies, Monaghan did all of this just a year earlier. He included in a series of emails exposed in court filings, trying to get the Saudis to bail out the DP World Tour. 
yet getting investment from ver the very people he was now trashing. So what he's saying here is that a year earlier, he was asking the PIF to bail out the DP World Tour because they were in a lot of trouble. Again, it's it's just not looking good for Jay Monaghan here, is it? I'm trying to detach myself from the fact that he runs a PJ Tour and, and think of this as if he's just running an organization. It doesn't stop there. With these revelating actions, live players in a merged organization would never trust him to lead. Totally agree with that. Group two, PJ Tour players and employees. Most importantly than the players who went to live, he broke the trust of the PGA Tour players. And for me, this is the crucial point. In addition to getting them to buy into an anti-Saudi narrative, asking, will you ever apologize for being a PGA Tour member? He threatened players with sanctions for going to live and fears of monetary fines. He orchestrated threats of losing official World Golf ranking points, going to players leaving the tour, which happened to all Live players. Many PJ Tour players gave up big paydays from Live, and that has cost them fortunes. I'll be honest though, I, I don't feel sorry for PJ Tour players, especially the ones that were offered fortunes. They've already got it. Let's be brutally honest about that. It then goes into this. Then, in one of the most stomach-churning repulsive acts in US CEO, I mean, this is a little, a little harsh, I think, Monaghan secretly negotiated with PIF when he realized the gig was up. Jimmy Dunn came to the tour and saw the light. He started the negotiations. A truce with Liv was negotiated, but Monaghan didn't tell the players about it. They were shocked, stunned, and angry at Monaghan when he, when he made it public. Remember, the PGA Tour is a trade organization that is supposed to represent those players' best interest. Employees at the tour are disillusioned as, as well, morale is low. Reports say communication in the organization is dysfunctional. This is telling in a repost of the tour's senior VP of communications, Joel Schum. I've probably just absolutely butchered that name. He reposted calling for all current heads of pro golf to step down. Now, have a look at this tweet here. You can see the Twitter account from Joel and then the retweet down below. This retweet says a new column is out now. Here I call for resignations of all the heads of the five families of pro golf. Only eight minutes standard. So there is a lot of evidence here. So let's just summarize that. He's gone through and picked apart what Jay Monaghan has said and acted on over the last year to 18 months. And it's gone from being a narrative of bad to the Saudis, bad to Phil Mickelson, all this bad narrative, to now we're flipping that on its head. And we want to, um, well, create a organization with them. How can the organization that he's bad mouthed trust him? Could he be the stumbling block? I honestly think this is a very, very good point. Let me know, is this person talking absolute rubbish or do you believe and get what he's saying? I can get on board with a lot of these points. I really, really can. Now, the main thing that I would get from this, and I asked you this question at the start, is simply, if he was running a company that you were working at, would you trust his decisions? If in 18 months, he's done a full 180, that is what I would ask you. So I said Phil Mickelson responded to this tweet. And this is where it's really, really interesting. Phil Mickelson said this, Well said. In addition to strong arming live players, losing the trust of the players and credibility with his staff, golf is now in a situation entirely because of him. There's no unity or path forward with him involved, in my opinion, as well. Now, I guess we've got to take Phil Mickelson's opinion with a pinch of salt because he is very live golf, but I can honestly get on board with this. I think the evidence towards Jay Monaghan's, I'm not going to say imminent, boot out the door, but very, very soon asked to step down is going to be around the corner because there is a lot of evidence pointing that way. Thank you so much for watching today's breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. I've been doing all this research. I found this Twitter. I found this tweet that was absolutely exploding and I had to bring it to you and put it to you. Remember, I'm just putting this to you of what I found here in the golf industry and I'd love to know what you think on this too. Thanks for watching.